Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle card for the week. So what do we have for our lovely Virgos please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Okay, how oh, interesting. We've got frog clear out the clutter. Now, yeah, that could be taken on so many levels. I mean, that could be practically, you know, your home, whatever it is, you might be doing that Virgo. Um, it might also be, I mean, it's a purification energy, so it's cleansing. Very much like the death card here. This is about making space for the new, releasing toxic energy or difficult or toxic people. I mean, call it what you will. There's levels to this card, but I definitely get there is an opportunity. It's like out with the old, in with the new, you know, I'm making space for new possibilities, you know, and I am cleansing, purifying. Uh, there's catharsis here, the purification. Um, yeah, very interesting energy. Feels like you're ready. There's a kind of readiness about that, isn't it? I'm ready to just let go and bring it on. You know, it feels that kind of energy. Embrace the new, new possibilities. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Virgo. is letting go of that which doesn't serve you in whatever context that works for you because it feels like you're being aligned to new possibilities here so angels i'm intrigued what does we what do we have for virgo please 15 okay yeah oh my goodness oh my goodness virgo <laughs> Do you see that? New beginnings. Something new begins today. Embrace the possibilities. And it might well be for some of you. You're just like, okay, there's that moment this week where you're just like, right, I am done with this situation and I am just taking action, you know? So new beginnings, something new begins today. Embrace the possibilities. Oh my goodness, how strange that that came out. And then we have, yeah, surrender your battles. This is release, isn't it? The angels are asking you to hold your peace and surrender the battle to them. I mean, there's a karmic quality there, Virgo. There is karma there. It's almost kind of like it doesn't concern you anymore. You know, give it up to us because the universe always writes, writes the balance. So, you know, there's a definite powerful energy here around you. It feels very exciting, okay? So Virgo, I'm gonna pull three cards. I'm using Handsome Roberts and Morgan Greer this week. So first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the future outcome. Then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Definitely feel a lot of energy in this reading. King of Pentacles in the challenge position. That could be you, could be a fellow Earth sign or somebody who represents that, that energy. Uh, we have the Ten of Wands, interesting. Interesting that came out. I mean, it's, your cards are so in sync. This can be about releasing the burdens, um, especially in the advice from spirit. And we have the Moon. The card of surrender. Interesting. Okay. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Virgo, please? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Virgo? Thank you. 15th to the 21st of March, 2021. We have the hanged man. Ten of Wands is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Nice. The Moon we have clarified with the Page of Swords. And we have the Devil. 
Let's clarify what this devil is, Virgo. It's a card of Capricorn. Doesn't mean that you're dealing with a Capricorn necessarily. Um, well, let's clarify this devil. Too many there, way too many. Let's clarify this devil, please. Let's clarify this devil for Virgo, thank you. Let's clarify this devil for Virgo. Thank you. Still two cards, but let's go with it. Yeah. I've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy, and the Ace of Cups. Oh, that's lovely. So, Virgo, yeah, the hanged man is, you know, it can be, you know, the hanged man, can, you can see this person who is putting themselves in a position of sacrifice or surrender, call it what you will to gain illumination on how to move forward, find solutions, see the way forward, get new perspectives. And there's definitely some kind of new perspective that is needed in this situation, because for some of you, there is an energy of clear out the clutter. Because if the hanged man continues looking at something the same way as they always have done, they only say they see the same possibility. You know, they only see the same things in the same way and therefore they remain stuck so this is an energy of really getting some new perspectives in order to see a way forward now virgo sometimes i mean it's whatever context this resonates for you the hanged man can mean a number of things you know we have many hanged man moments in our lives it can be where there's relationship changes where health has affected you know us for whatever reason put our life on pause um could have affected our career you know it can also be to do with career and financial changes as well and we feel at moments of limbo but it's in those moments of limbo then we get the greatest illumination and it can be about looking at something in a different way lateral thinking so the analogy that i always use and obviously it's not just always money and career but if there is one root bar to you in terms of money and career for example you know if retail for example retail has really struggled with the pandemic it is how you can use or retrain or get qualifications or do what you need to do or translate your skills and experience to other lines you know or even you know start your own business you know it's, it's these kind of lateral moments of illumination that the hangman brings in that really is aligning you to where you need to go to fulfill your potential. And I see this, you know, the King of Pentacles is you. The King of Pentacles is somebody who understands how to bring stability and security and safety in all levels, levels of their life, be it relationships, be it health, be it being disciplined in terms of health, um, taking care of yourself and all that routine um, can also be somebody who is who understands their full practical capability and, 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 and worth in delivering and manifesting money and success. So for some of you, there is some kind of new perspective that's needed to fulfill you, to fulfill your potential here. And it feels very beautiful with that hanged man and that feels like the challenge that you're facing right now because there's no doubt here Virgo spirit is acknowledging there's been burdens you know and you know the ten of wands can be burdens that have built up over some time it's and you've 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 had to endure some tests I mean it's Saturnian energy let's be real here but this is a, this is a ten which is a completion there is an opportunity to release the burdens now because the promise of new hopes, dreams and wishes are around you. And there is a message here, certainly with that hanged man energy, new perspect perspectives are, are bringing in the promise of new hopes, dreams and wishes coming your way. Um, you have more options than you realise. You have more options than you realise. 
but it's almost kind of like these burdens that you're carrying are slowing you down. So there is definitely an energy to, there are new doors to open, new opportunities to explore, um, but there is some kind of new perspective, lateral thinking that needs to take place um, to bring in success, achievement, stability, security into your life. It feels very beautiful here and there is a message, obviously we do have clear out the clutter. You will have, something may happen here that will give you an opportunity to surrender your battles to do exactly that because I'm going to start with this devil which can be instability can be shadow energy negative energy um, you know the devil can be can be challenging relationships codependency addiction um, and it's relationships on any level, can be workplace, family, friendships, you know, home life. But there is an opportunity now to break free from that devil, break free. The page is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And there could be some news coming your way or learning something, hearing something, which will enable you to do that this week. Like I said, something could happen this week. The page can be communication energy, can be learning something, hearing something. You might also be learning some knowledge here. I mean, there could be some retraining going on here as well, Virgo, that will allow you to break free of a level of instability and claim a new level of stability in your life. Because we have it clarified with this, you're opening your, by your own effort, this is the sun in Virgo, doing what you do well, I mean very good in terms of money and career in particular, very good in getting back on track in terms of health, very good in terms of working through something uh, methodically, um, patiently, diligently, d in a disciplined way, to bring in the cup of joy, the new beginning, a happy new beginning. Now that could be the Ace of Cups. It can be an energy of offers or opportunities that bring you joy, very much connected to your heart and soul. Can be to do with um, new bonds forming, uh, so pets, friendships. Um, can be to do with new love, uh, but can be an also an energy of you opening a new door on happiness. And I see this Ace of Cups being one of these hopes, dreams and wishes. Working hard to make something happen and align to where you need to be and break free of that devil. You know, the Eight of Pentacles can be a card of education as well. So study education, furthering yourself, getting qualifications or an internship or an apprenticeship. Um, learning a new skill, you know, that kind of energy. Again, what this hanged man is bringing into you. And it is this happy new beginning. So I definitely feel, I mean, this is self-love. This is happiness. The cup of joy is happiness. It's feel-good energy. But I definitely see this Ace of Cups as linked to one of your hopes, dreams and wishes, making it happen by breaking free of the old, the burdens, things that have held you back. So there is definitely an energy of breaking free of that devil and surrendering this week. Again, surrender. Surrendering your battles to the universe because this is a card of hidden blessings. And again, this energy of what you're working on now, what you focus on, what you put your heart and soul into, has the ability to bring some kind of happy, joyful, you know, new beginning, dream, hope, wish. This is a card of dreams as well coming your way. But the moon energy is even though something, how something isn't clear, how everything is going to pan out isn't clear. This is the universe giving you hidden blessings. You don't see the big picture, but the universe does. And it is guiding you. Surrender, trust, because you're being guided, given hidden blessings towards receiving divine love. This is divine love. You are the chalice. The universe is pouring love and light into you 
and bringing, I mean, this is positive change in terms of money and career. This is positive change in terms of aligning to where you need to be. This is positive change in positively working through a situation and bringing change to your situation in whatever context. But this is towards the new happiness coming your way. I love the energy Virgo. It feels so beautiful and uplifting. The new beginning, something new begins today. Embrace the possibilities. This is the possibilities. It's Venus, in, it's Venus in Scorpio, you know, transformational possibilities here. So, you know, you definitely have more options than you realize. This can be recognition, greater achievement in money and career, um, getting paid what you're worth, um, bringing greater value into your life, you know, all of this kind of energy. So it definitely feels that you have an opportunity to overcome some kind of negativity things that have been you've been up against it and now focus on new hopes new dreams new wishes because one of those is coming true one of those is happening okay so i'm going to pull a final card final message for virgo please final message for virgo Yeah, I love this energy of inspiration because it's so energizing. We have be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. So there is definitely an energy of there is an opportunity to make space for new possibilities here. There is absolutely an energy of you have more options than you realize. Surrender the baggage to the universe. If this has been built up by something that has been unfair, the universe will right wrongs, but you might hear something this week, learn something or be learning something practically to bringing this, this reward your way. Um, but it also, it, there could also be news, feedback, information here that is coming your way and bringing in a level of joy, the cup of joy, very beautiful energy, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.